<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souter, Slender Cat Outdoors, back with you again today from my hometown lake. I'm gonna be coming out here doing a little bit of channel cat fishing, but I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get ready or get prepared to go to some sort of big water or big trip that you guys may be going on from your local area. So one of the first things we need to do is get our boat under control. Uh, we've already got the trolling motor going about the speed we want it to do, but the wind, we're going into the wind, and the wind's gonna wanna blow the boat back and forth. Uh, so we need to get that under control before we do anything else. So we're gonna throw out a couple drift socks. That'll allow us to use more power from the trolling motor, help keep our boat under control, and not let the wind dictate where the boat's gonna go. Now these are the Bass Pro Series uh, drift socks. You guys have kind of seen me use the Cabela's Advanced Angler before, but these are the Bass Pro version. Uh, Cabela's obviously are not making them no more. These work the same way. Got a foam on top, weight on bottom, opens right up, starts slowing the boat down. And this is kind of part of the whole thing of getting used to, you know, getting your, used to your equipment, what your boat does in the wind and on the lake while you're trying to learn how to drag uh, before you ever get to, you know, a trip that you guys want to do. This is all stuff that we can do on a small body of water and learn and kind of fine tune our technique and get an idea of what our equipment boat is going to do before we ever get to an area that we want to, you know, take a trip on and actually, you know, enjoy. Okay, we don't want it to be a frustration, we want it to be a joy and the frustration needs to happen today on small increments so you guys can build your confidence. And that's that's what today is all about. So, so now we got the boat kind of under control. Um, it's actually slowed down to point two. It was going point four, so we'll have to speed it up just a little bit. You know, it's gonna be going, I have the trolling motor set to go in a certain direction. And I'm just gonna work this flat. This flat's got a lot of mud, a lot of trees on it, a lot of stumps. It's an old creek bed. So we're just gonna kind of stay with it. I'm going to be using planter boards today and good old gizzard chad. All right, so I don't have my cutting board out, so this top bait tank I'll just have to do. I'm just going to make small chunks like this, discard the rest, and get them in the water. So I'm going to take that shad we just cut. This is a head. That's a Diachi D85, five aught, just right through the head there. He's still twitching a little bit. 80 pound leader line, got a demon dragon. This is about, I don't know, 25 to 30 inches of leader line. Down to a 1.75 drifting stick. Now I got that on a sinker slide instead of a three way this time, which doesn't really make a big, big difference. Um, I like to run them both ways. And then we got 30 pound slime line on a medium heavy warrior cat rod. And today we're using the Magda Akuma line counter. We're just gonna to toss it out there. Sit in the rod holder, get the other one baited up, get some planter boards on. Now you're probably asking, wondering why are we using planter boards? Well, uh, the main reason is this is all about learning what our equipment is going to do whenever we get to the body of water that we want to travel to, you know, as a vacation. So we want to learn how our planter boards, even though we're only going to be, you know, using two rods, learn how our planter boards are going to pull out um, at slow speeds, at fast speeds. Uh, things like that. Now I like to run my planter boards or my lines way behind my planter boards. And so I've got about you know half a spool spooled out there. We'll just hook our planter board to it.
give it some line. Let it go. Oh, there we go. We actually got two on. I don't know if you guys may not be able to see it on the other side there, but we hooked up. Oh, yeah. Nothing like coming to a small lake and catching good fish. It's been kind of a slow bite, but we'll take it. He might be in that other line. I ain't for sure. Let's see. Right. Yeah. This is the good thing about coming to a lake. You know, you don't get all the kinks worked out before you go. You know what I mean? Nice channel. We got another one hooked up back there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Nice fish. I believe that other one has got us in a snag. Beautiful channel cat. We're gonna take him home for supper. We're gonna put him in the live well actually. And uh, if we catch a small one, we'll let him go. But well, this one went down and got us in a tree. I'm gonna see if I can get him out of it. I believe he got off on us. Oh, there it went. Well, I just broke him off. been slow it has been slow I tell you but we hooked up again maybe now he's still on there <laughs> uh, he's swimming straight to me and we have made two big old long drags as long as you can see behind me and uh, caught one had one get get us down into a log while we was fighting the other one missed one and then caught this one if he can get the boat yeah oh yeah we'll just flip him flip him up in there now that there is what i call perfect skill size about three pounds of fish tacos now another good tip is, you know, for me, I'm fishing by myself, I'm in Ohio, 
I can only use two rods, right? Well, that stinks because I got one out each side. But bring planter boards of the same side. That way you can put both rods out that same side and kind of figure out how you want those set up in your boat. So that whenever you do go to Wheeler or Kentucky or Tennessee, someplace where you can use more rods or you have somebody else in a boat with you, that you'll know before you get there how things are going to react and you know how to put boards out on the same side just a quick tip for you guys that's going to really help you guys out All right, folks, there we go. We are hooked up again. Now, as you guys can already tell, this is a voiceover for this clip because the audio got trashed from the wind, but that's all right. This video today was all about teaching you guys how to go out on your body of water and learn a new technique and get confident in a new technique somewhere where you already feel comfortable and confident. Okay, that is going to enable you to be able to pick up and learn a new technique that much quicker. And then be able to go to a big body of water or after big fish, um, wherever you're from in the country, and feel more confident doing it, okay? So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'm going to finish reeling in this nice channel cat, especially for this body of water. Hopefully you guys were able to learn something from this video and take something from this video and apply it to your neck of the woods. As always, don't forget about Tackle Talk Tuesdays every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I break down subjects and subject matter into detail, whether it be on the water or in the shop. Till next week, I want to catch you guys on the water. Thanks for watching. God bless.